Hey guys, welcome back. I uh, wanted to shoot a quick video on my iPhone um, about Mont 3. So, had a lot of people in the last video telling me certain things that I should change in Mont 3 to make it run like Pumatics. Well, let me show you why they don't work. So the first thing is we're just gonna see our rapids here. So you can look right there and you'll see 165 inches a minute. So that's our rapids. So I was told to come up here and go to homing and limits and said that this number here would change my speed. So let's do that. So I'm only jogging the X axis. So let's go to 100. So that's 100%. Okay. Hit OK. Just for the sake let's reset let's shut it down okay restart and i'm just going to load a program here just so that uh i have something in there all right here we go we are at 100 percent let's watch our rapids and go oh i gotta hit the e-stop button there we go and go 165 no change at all okay so let's leave that where it was at let's and let's come down here and let's go to is it general i've tried the baud rate that doesn't change a thing let's go to uh ports and pins so there's our kernel speed okay so in theory i should be able to select this which is what Promotix is running at. So I'm gonna max it out. Let's go straight to the top. Let's hit apply. And it tells you when you do that, you need to re-home or uh, recalibrate the machine. All I care about is if it'll go faster. So let's hit exit. Okay. Now let's restart Mach 3. And I'm going to load the same program just so that I've got something in there. Okay. And let's hit our reset button. And we get ready to jog and go. 149. And you could hear the motor sounding different. So by changing the kernel speed, I actually slowed the machine down. You can hear the way that motor sounds. So let's go back up here and uh, where were we here so let's drop it down let's go to 45 apply sorry let's restart it so we got a fresh start same deal just load a program Okay, and we'll reset this guy. So now we'll see our rapids. Going 49. The motors sound better, but it's still not as fast as it was going. So let's go back to ports and pins. Set our kernel speed back to 25K where it was at. Let's go back to... Uh, not there. Homing limits. I'm gonna take this back to the 50, like it was. Hit OK. And just for kicks, let's restart it. And load our program again, just so we go back to our inches. All right, so we're ready. Let's do our rapid. We're back to our 165. So this shows you I had mock pretty much maxed out as fast as I could get it to go. I'm open for any suggestions that you want to give me to make it run faster. I can't do any more motor tuning because anything above what I have now stalls the motor. You can see where the velocity and everything is at right now. So she's maxed out. So anyway, 
Hope this helps with your mock tuning. Uh, if you have any suggestions or comments, uh, I'll be glad to test them out for you and see if they make the machine any faster. But as it stands right now, with the G540 and the 48 volt power supply and Mach 3, I can only get 165 inches a minute. And I have not calculated for monitors, but you saw the other video how much faster the machine went. So take it, <laughs> take it for how you want to. Anyway, quick video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to. Hit the bell notification. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.